A Very Proper Fox by Jane Fanley. Every evening, Frankie the Fox sat on his hill and watched the sunset. Sometimes, if the wind was in the right direction, and if you listened very carefully, Frankie could hear the most beautiful song drifting across the valley. Whenever Frankie heard the sweet music, it filled his heart with joy. He couldn't help himself. He danced and danced and danced. One night, Naughty Rabbit popped out of his burrow and said, What sort of crazy dancing fox are you? Proper foxes don't jig about. Proper foxes catch chickens. Don't they catch rabbits too? asked Frankie. Oh, no, 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 said Rabbit. Boy, you've got a lot to learn. Foxes catch chickens, insisted Rabbit. And I know where there's a big, fat, juicy one just across the valley. A proper fox would go and get it. Frankie desperately wanted to be a proper fox. Off he went to catch the chicken. Naughty Rabbit smiled wickedly. He didn't like chickens. He liked causing trouble. Frankie stole down the lane to the chicken's house. He licked his lips, flexed his claws, growled like a proper fox, low and mean. I'm coming to get you. But instead of a big fat chicken, Frankie found a big fat mess. A rickety fence with the paint peeling off, a gate hanging from its hinges. What a shambles, Frankie said. I'd better sort this out. Frankie hammered and painted until everything was fixed. He couldn't help it. He was a very tidy fox. It was very late when he'd finished. Frankie was too tired to catch a chicken. He went home for a rest and beans on toast. Rabbit wanted some beans too. I hope you'll do better next time, he said. The next night, Frankie set out with Rabbit's words ringing in his ears and evil intent in his heart. He licked his lips, flexed his claws, growled like a proper fox, low and mean. I'm coming to get you. But all he found was a terrible mess. What a dump. Frankie washed and scrubbed until everything sparkled. He couldn't help it. He was a very tidy fox. When he was finished, it was far too late for anything energetic, like catching chickens. Once again... Frankie trundled home for beans on toast. Once again, Rabbit had plenty to say. What a shameful display of incompetence. Proper foxes are supposed to eat chickens, not iron their knickers. Get that bird tonight or else. That night, Frankie was determined. He licked his lips like a proper fox. I'm coming to get you. He flexed his claws like a proper fox. I'm coming to get you. He growled his growl like a proper fox. I'm coming to get you! As soon as I've watered these poor thirsty tomatoes and sorted out this garden. Frankie worked harder than ever. Soon he was utterly exhausted. He sat down for a little rest and fell asleep in among the pumpkins. The next morning, Frankie awoke to sunshine and the sound of beautiful music. It was the chicken singing his favourite song. This was his chance to get her. Frankie licked his lips, flexed his claws, leapt up and danced and danced and danced. He couldn't help it. The chicken stopped singing and regarded Frankie with a cool eye. I want a word with you, she said. Are you the one who mended my fence? Who tidied my house and watered my tomatoes? Frankie nodded sheepishly. Then you had better come in. Frankie and the chicken, who was called Madame Mimi, took tea together. Over buttery crumpets, they got to know each other. Over chocolate cake, they became friends. Madame Mimi was a singer in the opera. Her clever little eyes twinkled as she listened to Frankie's story, especially the bits about grabbing chickens. She was a very busy and messy lady, but not too busy to notice Frankie's kindness. Call me crazy, she said, but I have an idea. Madame Mimi invited Frankie to come and live with her. I will never be a proper fox now, chuckled Frankie. Who cares, clucked the feathery diva. 
You are perfect as you are. You are a proper friend, and that is all that matters. Mimi taught Frankie to sing. He made a very fine baritone. Frankie taught Mimi tidiness and some nifty dance moves. Maybe it was crazy, a fox and a chicken together, but Frankie and Mimi were very happy. They made beautiful music together and tasty beans on toast. And as for Naughty Rabbit, he slunk away quietly one night. Apparently, a little bird told Frankie that proper foxes do eat rabbits and the tastiest ones of all are the naughty ones that like to stir up trouble.